Hello Scorpios and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for July 1st through the 7th of 2019. Okay Scorpio, so um, as you guys know this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't resonate with you, the message isn't for you. It was somebody else's energy and somebody else's message, okay? Um, do check out your other placements like your Moon, Rising, and Venus. They might resonate better for weeklies and even your July monthlies, okay? We're going to be doing a um, Cancer New Moon Total Solar Eclipse reading at the end to see what it's bringing up for you. And it's bringing into your life, okay? So instead of doing a separate video, I decided because the energy was so prevalent, might as well put it in with the weeklies and do its own little separate thing, okay? So we're going to do that. But let's check out, Scorpio, what your energy is this week. July 1st through 7th of 2019, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why do I feel anxiety? <laughs> Not a bad thing, though. Oh, my God, Nine of Cups. Okay, I was like, why does this feel <laughs> Why do I feel anxious out of nowhere? Um, it was a good feeling, though. So things are better than maybe you expect right now. Wow. Um, let's see. That's what's in your surrounding energy is Chariot. So, again, Cancer energy being a water sign. Not surprising that you're feeling that Cancerian energy this week. It's going to make emotions a bit fluctuating, a bit extreme, so watch out for that. So let's see. This is bringing up what's coming into your energy, situations, opportunities, people this week. Page of Swords. Ooh, okay. So watch out for somebody talking smack. <laughs> watch out for somebody who's trying to see... Trying to spy, trying to jab at you from behind the curtain from the shadows here. What is this that's coming out here? Okay, can we get one card? Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. Look where it's leading you guys this week, though. Four of Wands. So you're getting to a place of a lot more peace where your energy is back and aligned where it's supposed to. Um... Wow, I do like it actually, I like this. Four of Wands is a great energy to leave off here, to leave off on. So let's get some clarifiers. I really want to take a look at that Nine of Cups overall energy this week. You might be feeling a lot better. Maybe you just had some releases in that Sagittarius full moon energy and um, this new moon in Cancer is allowing you to really take charge on what you surround yourself with. So I mean, that's really what's coming up with this new moon in Cancer. It's gonna have us focus on setting goals and be new beginnings here based on how we feel and what we want in our home and our immediate surrounding life to look like, okay? So let's see. Nine of Cups for Scorpios. Why is the Nine of Cups Scorpios energy this week? That's crazy. Nine of Swords. Um... What a combination. I see what it's saying, but it doesn't... Only for you, Scorpio, would these cards come out like this. Only would the Nine of Cups be about a Nine of Swords situation. Um, a situation that has seemed extremely painful, extremely difficult because the nine of swords is your nightmare card i mean that's a nightmare energy there's been failure there's been disappointments there's been um a desire to break free of something a desire to move past a very difficult situation somebody could have betrayed you hurt you and has left you you know wondering why 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 and maybe you've lost sleep you've had stress anxiety but the nine of cups is on the opposite end of that it's feeling very satisfied. Maybe you've overcome a very difficult situation here, a nightmarish situation where you've been betrayed, hurt, stabbed in the back, or maybe something was fa you know something in your life failed here. It's deciding to move on here with the chariot energy. I really like that. It's you know seeing the nine of swords for what it was, but feeling better, feeling lighter and brighter because you released something negative, because you chose a different path, because you chose to move towards positive energy towards what was best for you so this week is about a very significant release in terms of choosing one path over another choosing to let go of that nine of swords situation person betrayal whatever that might be okay We're having a triumphant <clears throat> victory over this energy 
we've resolved our difficulties. We're we're moving towards balance here. So clarify the chariot to the page of swords. Um, for your underlying energy, we have the six of cups reconnecting in a heart level, maybe with um, friends, situations, a relationship from the past here. We could be reconnecting here, reconnecting in that heart space. Whenever I see the six of cups, you it is a, you know a sign from spirit here that you've made the right choice, that you are on the right path, that we might be feeling a bit nostalgic in some ways. And we can't let that override the energy this week, though. There, that's just been coming up because, again, we have Mercury retrograde. So don't get stuck in feelings of nostalgia. Missing painful people and situations from the past could come up, and you need to move past that. Mercury retrograde will bring those people back to try to manipulate situations, your emotions. And we are getting Mercury retrograde on the 7th, and we, have, we already have Pluto, Jupiter, Saturn, and Neptune all retrograde right now. So nothing is as it seems. Nobody is saying what they should be saying. Nobody's communication is coming out the way you want it to right now, the way that it should be. We're getting stuck in these feelings, so don't get caught in them yourself here, okay? Clarify the page of swords for who and what is coming into Scorpio's life. Oh, three of swords. Um, It was reversed when I first tried to pick it up and it went upright. So this is somebody who has hurt you. I have a strong feeling here that somebody from a past situation, maybe you've wanted them to come back and say this, say that, but there is an energy that you guys need to move past this. There's a real push to move beyond, you know, whatever, whoever came in to hurt you is probably planning on doing it again. Um, you can't trust whatever this situation is. You're going to know who that page of swords is. Again, you might be, you know, multiple people from your past might be coming back in or might be connecting this week. You're going to know who that page of swords is, Scorpio. You're a lot more intuitive than you give yourself credit for, and you need to listen to those intuitive pushes. I think a lot of this um, Cancer New Moon, all this Eclipse energy is really having us focus on listening to our intuition from now on because I think a lot of the toxic stuff that's been coming up is because we haven't been listening to it. We haven't been listening to, you know, the part of us that says, hey, you should do that, or hey, you should say this, hey, maybe you shouldn't do this. And because we haven't listened to that before, especially about certain people and situations here, there is a need to really recognize and really be vigilant about the people that we're bringing back in. Rec see the Three of Swords before it even comes in. Somebody might be trying to subtly talk shit about you, talk bad about you behind the scenes on social media, watching you, waiting for, you know, hoping for your downfall. Somebody's projecting negative energy towards you or about you right now. Four of Wands, though. Four of Wands is Five of Cups reversed. You guys have moved on, moved beyond this though with confidence and vigor. You have your two cups. Why do you care about those three cups that were spilled? It's time to move forward. You guys, once a Scorpio makes, you know, I mean, your card is death. So once you end something, it's over. It's dead. It's done. You, there's no going back. And that's really how I feel this week. Maybe somebody's trying to come back in. Maybe in your heart of hearts you wanted this. But you're realizing as soon as it comes in, you were right. This person only means trouble. They're a wolf in sheep's skin. And that's something that you need to remember this week, okay? I'm going to get one card of advice because this is, I don't know. I'm just getting a lot of big warnings for you guys. If you think that somebody is this energy and you're hoping, you know, that they're going to come back and all this stuff, don't. Reconnect with people that feel right in your heart, but not people that you're going to be able to feel that immediately. As soon as they enter your presence, I feel. Even if you're not psychic, you're not intuitive, you're not an empath, you're going to know. Okay, there's just this observing where they can try to get one over on you, where they can one up you, where they can stage some type of power or situation over you. I don't know. It's so weird. It's like they're waiting for the right moment to manipulate the situation against you. And you just have to stay grounded and be like, LMAO, no. <laughs> um, it feels like that kind of energy of just being like, no, I'm actually doing great and I don't need you back in my life and everything is a lot better. So maybe this person is trying to, you know, make you see that like, you know, life without them or, you know, working here is going to be miserable and they're trying to manipulate you. They're trying to either say something or do something behind your back, trying to figure out how they can, you know, get the upper hand in this situation. You guys just have to move on from it. Don't even entertain this energy. Okay. Dang, Scorpios, that is some crazy, this has been a crazy week, but that's why we're doing readings a little bit special this week. We're going to do a short love reading here, just a short one, because 
We got bigger messages to fry here. We got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> bigger messages to fry. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Love and romantic energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus this week. Three of Cups. Celebration. Maybe you're going out with friends. If you're single, go out this week. Definitely go to some parties. You might meet people. King of Cups. Wow, there's a lot of emotional security here. A lot of happiness. Celebration. Reconnecting in love. Really feeling camaraderie in your relationship if you're in one. I mean, that's you guys. King of Cups, I associate with Scorpio. Um, very well-developed emotionally here. I really, really love your energy this week, guys. Um, it's beautiful. Your heart feels a lot more filled than it has in a while. Um, a lot more stable. Um, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Interesting that that one shows up. Love and romance energy. Oof. You get one card, not five. The chariot again. Maybe you guys are dealing with a cancer, sun, moon, or rising here. Um, if you're in a relationship with a cancer, they are really... I just feel like they're helping you take control this week, get back centered and in your energy. Um, you know, again, ride that mothering and, you know, maternal, loving, healing, cancerian energy this month. As a water sign, as fixed water, that would be best for you, honestly. Seven of Pentacles reverse me. I'm kind of getting the feeling don't get focused on areas where you haven't seen the progression you've wanted. If you haven't, it's time to take, you know, some stances on this. Say what you need to say. Take control of it. Choose a path here and, um, again, move, start moving forward here. Let's see what's in your... The underlying energy in terms of love and romance here. Gosh, sorry, I just knocked over the new moon paper. Okay, so let's see. So the underlying energy of love and romance this week for Scorpios. Okay, King of Wands reverse. Oof. All right. Um. Hmm. When I see that, we might be dealing with somebody who we feel, let me see what the Three of Cups, let me clarify that, that's interesting. Oh, okay, yeah, I got that vibe and then I was like, hmm, Three of Cups, Seven of Swords, King of Cups, King of Wands reversed. Somebody messed with your energy. Somebody tried to mess with your love life. And now you're feeling very... Again, if it was you, you're feeling very... Conf not very good about whoever is pushing these things with you. Especially if you're in a relationship. Even if you're not, it feels like you're suspecting that the other person is in a relationship. You know that there's, a th that there's something being hidden here. That there is... And you're coming here with your full cup here. You're you're stable, you're emotional, you're coming across wonderfully right now. So the fact that these people are trying to mess with you, you're like, mm, or trying to, you know, get one over on you. If someone's trying to get in your pants without, you know, trying to take the fruit without buying them. I don't know what's the word. It's like trying to rob you <laughs> without telling you really what their intentions are, you know lying deceitful energy here two of pentacles but something needs to be dropped here there has to be some juggling um interesting just such you guys are choosing to push forward here um whether again it could be that you were insecure about a relationship something came out here um and there's an untrustworthiness about maybe a fire sign possibly a leo maybe as maybe a, a aries or a um Sagittarius, but this person seems a bit unhinged, whoever, you know, you're up against here, or whoever is, you know, either showing aggressive interest in you, and then, I don't know, they're coming across very, that's why I'm saying Leo, because I just, I just did the reading for Leo, and it was very unhinged type of energy, if that makes any sense, very in a bad place with ego, um, so just be aware of that. That person, it doesn't seem like if you're, if you're trying to get something to going with like a fire sign here, this is not good. And you should probably 
you're, again, whoever this person is. It doesn't have to be a Leo. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. But it feels like there is somebody here that is, um, it's bad news. Bad news. They're not, it's not going to turn into what you think it's going to. It would be best to move forward. You get some cards of advice in terms of love this week, love energy. Scorpios. Four of Wands. Just stay where you are. Again, this person or situation seems to be pushing at a relationship, seems to be pushing at your relationship or trying to push you into, you know, again, trying to get into your pants or trying to push you into a relationship. And what you need to do is stay where you are or, again, reconnect with the partner that you're with. Um, it could be that somebody's coming in and trying to, you know, get you to turn away from your relationship or maybe your partner. But there is a lot you're a lot more aligned so it's kind of like i feel like you're kind of like haha and like nice try <laughs> but i actually am on my way i'm in this energy i'm in control and i don't need to hold on to that this shows no success no fulfillment so i'm dropping it because now i know what this is about way too much indulgence third party situation sneaky energy sneaky fox energy especially whenever i see it with the three of cups it's somebody that is not kosher in a relationship somebody that has talking to multiple people has multiple has intentions that they are not being honest about and it's coming from a very unhinged very aggressive and manipulative place so just watch out for that stay where you are and don't let people kind of knock over your cup here you you're all good you're all good but don't let whoever that is come in and mess with you okay um let's get a romance angel oracle card for you guys all right you know what I need to do the full moon i almost just said i almost just did this backwards so let's just do the cancer new moon solar eclipse Total solar eclipse reading. Okay, let's do that first, then we'll pull the other cards. So, Moon and Cancer, total solar eclipse for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is this bringing up for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? King of Swords, interesting. Um, Sagittarius got that as well. It's a very decisive, very mature, you know, head, head ruling heart here kind of energy. You know, don't mess with me and my sword here. Cutting out the fat. Cutting out what no longer is serving us. <sighs> Judgment reverse. Oh, okay. Um, and the moon. This is some deeply emotional, deeply felt changes that are happening here. And you have to adjust. We have some changes here that have come in. Um, whether we wanted them to or not with judgment reverse it could have been you know I have to deal with this now I don't really want to and I probably should have in the past but I didn't and it's time to release it's time to let it go it's time to move forward okay when judgment is reversed we might be trying to you know stop on you know halt the brakes here because <laughs> so we don't want to deal with something we don't really want to go through what the universe is asking us to right now because it's bringing up again a lot of fear anxiety emotional confusion all those piscean questions of why um just know that whatever these are entrenched things that have been entrenched in life here that you need to rid yourself of that you know are not good and they it feels i'm just seeing like poisoned roots it's time to not just cut down the tree, but to take the roots out to make sure that they are not still there, if that makes any sense, okay? Um, again, that moon card there. I love the moon in this deck with Gollum all curled up. There is just a lot of need. You know, you need to keep your feet on the ground. Sit, you know, again, keep head over heart in this situation. Head over your emotions, all right? Our fears and fantasies can come to life here and whisk us away, all right? Um, things are really not what they seem. People are not, you know what they seem right now they might be trying to derail you hurt you manipulate you and you have to be aware of that you have to have your king of swords energy at hand here your king of cups energy you are emotionally stable no one can knock you down nobody can make you um push you into any decision here you have to take this into your hands take your sword and say back off where people aren't backing off and where you know we need to cut out those roots if somebody's trying to stop us we have to say get away this is done this situation needs to be cut out here I think you know what this is going to refer to, okay? Let's pull some oracle cards. Let's pull a romance angel card for you guys first. Okay, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love and romance energy for this week. 
Love and Romance energy for this week. Scorpios. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Um, it might be that you guys just really need to get back in touch with your inner child to bring more love into your relationship or love into your life. Um, also be aware that, you know, again, maybe your children are getting in the way if you're married or something. And they are, you know, becoming, they're very prevalent this week. And they might be um, affecting your love life. Or some of you guys, again, are trying to have children, thinking about it. It's on the mind here. Children are on the mind. Starting a family, growing a family, or again... You're nowhere near that. It's needing to get in touch with your inner child and really um, have a nice, I don't know, just a lighter energy about love. Getting back in touch with that inner child energy, having fun. So let's get a Halloween Oracle card. Let's get two of them actually. One for advice from our higher self for this week. And then one for that new moon in Cancer total solar eclipse, okay? So let's see. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and... Venus, skeleton strength. Yeah, you guys are being called. Your strength is really being called upon here. What is this new moon total solar eclipse bringing up for you guys? What, what is this? What's coming in here? Oh, we get one. Jack o' lantern protection. I like these cards, especially in unison here. Skeleton. Um, all right, skeleton. <clears throat> strength. Should the skeleton card bring itself to your attention? Dare to show strength and vulnerability if that is what you really feel. Shame, pride, grudges, or embarrassment are hefty burdens that need not be carried through the darkest of nights. And then we get jack-o'-lantern, okay? So, again, um, time to show vulnerability, show strength. You know, say our truths here. That is just as strong as you know keeping quiet and keeping everything in it's being showing people when you're vulnerable when they you know push you too far when you need to showcase your strength here and keep on going jack-o-lantern protection where is this oh i just missed it there it is know that you are protected and that you are capable of creating the life you want and that the universe supports you in this should jack shine his light upon you Boundaries are important to teach people how to treat us, and drawing this card indicates that you may wish to renew the ones you have or to establish new ones. Okay, guys, so that's really important this week. Again, I feel like you need to establish some boundaries this week. Um, you guys being um, fixed water, sometimes water signs, and, you know, it's not usual that people talk about this, but Scorpios have this tendency to bring in people that try to manipulate, try to mess with them because they're a water sign, and then they end up getting stung. So it's never really a good idea, but you need to establish new boundaries within your life here. You're going through a transformative phase, and you're being asked to cut out, you know, all that energy that has been, that has been holding you back here. Um, boundaries, again, are very important to teach people how to treat us. And that's really what you need to know. Self, it's a self-respect is really coming up important for you guys to speak. Self-respect is your strength. Creating boundaries is your strength. So again, you can listen to these messages anytime throughout the week. They are great affirmations. Um, I love them. And thank you guys. That is, those are your um, July first through seventh, as well as your new moon and Cancer and total solar eclipse messages. Hope you enjoyed them, Scorpio. If you want to get twenty percent off of anything on my Teespring, guys, you can use the code Cancers with a capital C. Um, and my Teespring should be right below this video in the um, in the little bar thing there. And if you want to book a private reading, all my information is in the description box below this video. Um, do remember to check out your weeklies as well as your monthlies for your other placements. They might resonate better. And have a wonderful and blessed week, Scorpio. I thank you so, so much.